All right, today we're gonna to be doing a quick video on my first impressions of version 12.3 of FSD Beta. Uh, got it today and I actually have it in this car and not in the other one, so I'll probably do a comparison video of the two on the same, same route at some point, but today I just wanna get my first impressions. Uh, haven't used it, so I wanna see how it works. The biggest thing that I've noticed with v version 11 was that I couldn't go in the neighborhood really because it wouldn't stay to the right. Uh, also can't do U-turns, uh, so that's always been a big problem. So, and and version 11 also has a lot of struggles with uh, just being slow and hesitant at intersections, especially with stop signs and stuff because of the required fully stop thing. People actually honk at you sometimes. So that's what I'm hoping we see some improvements on here with version 12.3. Uh, should be a wide release now. A lot of people are getting it. So let's just see how it works and get my first impressions. All right, so we're here in a parking lot and like I said with version 11, I never would use it in the parking lot or in subdivision. So we're starting in a parking lot in a subdivision and we're gonna go to Publix. So we're just gonna see how it goes. It's a pretty short drive, uh, less than two miles, uh, but it's through neighborhood. It's got a couple unprotected left, so let's see how it does. There we go. All right, pretty wonky already <laughs> all right it definitely would have cleared that truck but i don't i don't like how close it was getting so started again so a little bit weird coming out of the space it couldn't decide whether it wanted to go left or right um, would have been fine wouldn't have hit that truck but still was a little closer than i would have liked so so the fact that it's navigating out of this parking lot at all is an improvement over version 11 but still a little bit weird getting out of here all right so we are in a neighborhood should should keep it around 25 or less really um, i don't have the auto speed on I just have it on 5% plus 5% offset I'll try the auto speed at some point that's something that's new with version, version 12 here but I'm just going to leave it with the regular offset Let's see how it does already it starts uh, well here because it stays to the right Let's see how it does here yeah so on version 11 it would always be further over towards the middle unless there was a car coming and it would wait too late to get get around them so it was very unnatural and would kind of freak some people out sometimes so it's much better that it hangs out to the right side which obviously you should do so already much better Creeping out to see, I guess around this bush, a little bit slower than it probably needed to be, but that's okay. Cautious in the neighborhood's good. All right, so we do have speed humps here. So let's see how it handles these speed humps. Okay, that's that's nice. About 10 miles per hour over the speed hump. That's comfortable. pedestrian kind of got out of the road but I felt like we gave him room pretty early so that was I don't think he needed to get out of the road but he just wanted to play it safe with his dog I guess
couple more places they're going to add speed humps, which they removed when they repaved the road. Um, so, looks like it's not looking at the sign, it's definitely just looking for the speed hump in the road. Otherwise it would have slowed down. So that's good. Speed humps are not always marked. Alright, now this is unprotected left turn here. I haven't ever attempted this with version 11. I'd be pretty scared to. go after this truck up here. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> that felt very smooth. Very nice. Now, I don't know what would have happened if it would have needed to get into the middle. You know, because it wasn't traffic en enough traffic there for it needs to, to wait in the median, but it did that very well. It waited for both sides to be clear, and it put on the uh, the accelerator appropriately nice and smooth so I liked that a lot now this one is probably sometimes a hard uh, turn to make this left unprotected left here into the Publix I am curious to see if it actually parks at the Publix because I haven't you know version 11 doesn't park at all it just kind of stops in the middle of the road once it's at its destination but version 12 supposedly does stop sometimes. Now this, okay, yeah. Is it gonna go? Yes. Wow, okay. Very smoothly too. Wow, that was nice. It felt, felt really smooth. It felt confident and it had plenty of time there to go and, you know, across traffic. So that was good. Now, I don't know what it's going to do here, see if it's going to go straight up to the front or if it's going to just try to find a space and park. We are in the parking lot for Publix. This should be just about the end of the destination. speed bump and a stop sign lots of pedestrians and let's see looks like it's turning navigated saying it's gonna go around the parking lot again I don't know why I would do that or I wonder if it's just gonna park it's just Kind of going really slow. <laughs> so there's plenty of spaces we could have parked in and didn't. So all right, I pressed the accelerator there. I didn't need to probably but kind of thought it was going to turn down the wrong direction there, but it may have just been because that other car was kind of poking out. All right, we'll see what it does. If it just stops at the front at Publix or what? Another speed bump here. Went pretty slow. All right, and okay, it just stopped right at the front of Publix, which is fine. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this parking lot and I'll give my thoughts on the first drive. All right, so my first impressions are I'm very impressed uh, with version 12 as compared to version 11. Again, I'll probably try to do a side-by-side -side of version 11 to version 12 because I do actually have uh, another Tesla that doesn't have version 12 yet and I won't update it so I can do a couple at least one comparison version on the same route that'd be kind of interesting I think but overall it was, it was very smooth so much more smooth than version 11 it felt like 
I felt much more comfortable allowing it to go in the neighborhood. It didn't ever uh, go towards the middle like version 11 would do and kind of make people uncomfortable. So that's a plus right there. Being able to use it in the neighborhood comfortably is much better. And that makes me a lot happier about uh, letting it drive in the neighborhood. And basically you can navigate to a lot more places because of that, you know, any type of parking lots even. So here it was in the, the public's parking lot. And, you know, I, I'm not really sure what it just, why it decided to go all the way around and to get to the front, but it did so safely and smoothly. So that was fine. It could have parked a few times, which would have been interesting to see that. Never seen that before, but hopefully I'll get to see it park at some point. But the two unprotected left turns were very smooth, very appropriate, uh, the way it was handled. And so overall, I'm really excited about version 12. I really think that version 12 is going to be where we finally start to see rapid improvements and more capabilities. So stay tuned. I'm going to have some more videos on version 12. And like I said, a comparison version, comparison video between version 11 and version 12 and, um, you know, maybe some other videos. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.